Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to the Fort Report. So today I'm live at the Duck Pond in Trinity Park to celebrate the upcoming spring and more importantly, our 100th episode of the Fort Report. Do we need to stop? I... Hi. Chris Oh, Connelly? Alicia, what are, you, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm just hanging out with my feathered buddies over there, sharing some bread, stuff like that. Okay, good. Okay. Um, well, we're kind of in the middle of something, but um, Chris Connolly was the original host of the Fort Report, for those who don't know, except that um, he left suddenly and without explanation. Uh, you so, know, just that busy all the time. So many opportunities, you know, ring, ring. Oh, excuse me one second. Let's look. Hello? Oh, Ellen's going on vacation for a week? I'll think about it. See, it's all the time, stuff yeah. like that going on. Yeah, so you got a lot going on. What are you guys doing? Well, I mean, we're kind of in the middle of an episode, so I kind of got to get going. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. All right, but, well, uh, yeah. good, good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. um, March 18th through the 24th, the Water Department is participating in an environmental protection agency program called Fix a Leak Week. It's basically an opportunity to teach the public about the importance of fixing leaks because of how much water it can waste. The event will be held at three different Home Depot locations throughout the city. And we're focusing just on indoor leaks. So we built some fixtures um, that the master plumbers at Home Depot are actually going to hands-on show them how to remove and do it yourself so that they can fix those leaks and not feel like they have to um, hire a plumber to do it. So the first 25 people are going to get um, what we're calling like our repair kit and it's going to have um, a variety of different items in it that can help them do these repairs when they go home. And then everybody that comes is going to be eligible to win a raffle prize, so a gift card to Home Depot. The average American household wastes more than 10,000 gallons of water each year in sneaky ways you might not notice running toilets, dripping faucets, and other small leaks. By fixing the leak at your house, you save money on your water bill, and most importantly, you're saving water. You know, water conservation is really important because water is actually not as plentiful as we like to think, especially in the North Texas area, um, where a huge, fast-growing population, so every year there's more of us, and that's more people that need water. It's real important for the economy to bring businesses here because businesses need water. Um, but a reason that it's so scarce sometimes is just because of the climate of where we live. Which it's kind of got to the point where it seems almost every other year or so we're going into a drought situation, and we have to be really conscious of how much water that we're using, especially. Um, to prevent water waste inside and outside, but also to be mindful of how much water we're using to put on our lawns and making sure that we're using that effectively so that we have water for the really important stuff, <laughs> like health and safety and that kind of thing. So. Free workshops are held at three Home Depot locations Friday through Sunday. So to learn more, visit www.savefortworthwater.org or call 817-392-8740. He's still here. Do you want to jump in? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> okay, why don't you take the next one? Spring brings rain and greater potential for flooding. Fort Worth Stormwater Management Division is working to help residents protect themselves from this hazard during National Flood Safety Awareness Week. March 18th to the 22nd. Each year, more deaths occur due to flooding than from any other thunderstorm-related hazard because people underestimate the force and power of water. As the water level goes up, you are not aware as to how deep the level of the water is and also how quickly the water travels when you are at these locations, it will be safe to stop, turn around, don't drown. The city has installed high water warning flashers at some of the most dangerous road flooding areas. When the water level gets to a certain height, the light is activated. And once the light is activated, it tells you that you should seek an alternative route to your destination. There are other areas that these signs may not be located, but are as equally dangerous when it rains heavily. Therefore, use your common sense. 
it's better to be safe than sorry. For more flood safety, visit fortworthtexas.gov slash TPW slash stormwater or call 817-392-6261. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth in the next few weeks. For a listing of more events and city meetings, you can always check the calendar at the city's website. Cut those with the duck. They don't like whole wheat. Mm. You want the heel? No. You missed me, didn't you? <laughs>